Welcome back to Obsessive Car Guys, my name's Kyle And I'm Andrew And uh, you might be able to tell but the timeline's a wee bit messed up So we forgot to film an intro and uh, this is it now So today we've received the wiring harness As we said in the first video, the harness that goes into the engine bay is all charged from the previous owner uh, Well, not really done a good job of what he was meant to do So Today we've got this uh, so after the first video I posted it on a couple of uh, the Facebook pages and a guy from Woolies Workshop uh, who specifically uh, breaks the 924s, 944s contacted me and said they had one in stock and uh, from there I bought it from It's not sponsored or anything but I, I thanks him for getting, getting in touch with me and, and getting us a wiring harness sent out. Yep. <laughs> Nothing is labelled. <laughs> oh no, I don't have a clue. It's Volkswagen. Yeah. Oh, I've seen my name in the sub though. Oh, is that? Yeah. There's one, oh, there's one in the car, right? Two weeks later. Welcome back to the same day of Wild. Uh, it's currently quite stormy outside, so we don't know how the audio is going to pick up here. Uh, we've actually got a friend. Oh, Come on, yeah. giving us a wee hand eh, with the wiring, so we better get to it. Right, so you can probably see the sorting through all this sort of stuff. We have managed to sort out uh, the bulkhead into the fuse box, engine bay, uh, dash is sitting over here and the rear sort of harness that runs is all sitting behind me. Uh, I, I don't know how much more we can sort of sort through it without putting it in the car. Um, that means that means a whole load of, whole load of work. So we'll see what's, see what's up next. Right, so this is where the front one was actually cut in the car. Uh, luckily for us, it was just the, the headlight, the side lights, and the radiator fans and horns. So we actually managed to, as we're taking this off, get through the new one. Uh, and as you can see, we've labelled every single part, so as soon as we've got to install it, we can exactly where it goes. Right, so on the new one, uh, we've actually found a cable here, right beside the motor uh, wire that's just been snipped. Uh, on the old one, We'll figure out that that's the water bottle, the water bottle squishers. Mm -hmm. uh, so what we're going to do is we're actually just going to chop this one off. We'll plug that into the water bottle in the car, and then on the wire on the new one, we'll just uh, we'll just label that so we know where it connects up to in the future. So we've actually been trying to get the fuel line out recently. Uh, right down there, there's a, a nut. There's a connector actually right down here. Uh, well, we're going to try and pull it out, but we've now discovered that the fuel line is actually split. So we're just going to uh, cut this one out, and we'll just replace that section of pipe that's probably about a foot long. Uh, so just to free up some more room in the engine bay, we're going to try and take the intake off. So I've uh, started loosening some of these bolts off and they seem to be coming off alright. Uh, just a wee bit of access problems getting into some of the other ones, but that'll be the next thing to come off. I think the 
girls with their nails done now. Right, so as you can see, we've popped the intake manifold off. Uh, it just gives us a wee bit more access into these wires to sort of track them down where they go. Um, but I think that'll wrap it up for tonight. So uh, I think it was a good wee shift on the day. Right, I think that can conclude tonight, uh, part one of the wiring harness install. We ended up having to strip a wee bit down off the motor, but it was going to have to happen anyway. So uh, I'll let Kyle take it away. So, massive thank you to Kieran for coming down and giving us an extra pair of hands tonight. Uh, it was greatly appreciated and we probably couldn't have done this without him. Uh, if you guys also want to get in touch with us, please uh, leave a comment down below, like this video uh, and subscribe, it really does help us out. Also, if you want to get in touch, we have a Facebook and Instagram page, which is both linked down below. It's both just obsessive car guys. So, well, uh, I think we'll see you in the next one. We'll end this one right now. <laughs> oh, what a shot! <laughs> <laughs>